Imagine a game which is so simple, anyone can play it. Imagine a game where you can play with just one hand. No, I'm not talking about Super Mario Run, I'm talking about Neon Beats, a game so well made and easy to enjoy, yet you've probably never heard of. Hey everyone, this is TCRD, and welcome to Random Game Review, a series where I rate random games you, or I, recommend, and sum up fairly quickly all of the important knowledge you want to know before installing. If you know a game I should review, leave the name down below in the comments. As I've already mentioned, today I will be reviewing and rating Neon Beats, a free game which you can purchase on Steam and Early Access on Google Play. I will go over an introduction of the game, the controls, visuals and music, and finally I will end with my final thoughts and overall rating. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's free, I really appreciate it, and it helps the channel out a lot. Neon Beats is a game developed back in May of 2019 by Okio Games, a group of students based in Lyon, France. What makes the game so interesting is that it was originally meant to be a class project, but has since evolved into something much more than that. Over the course of about a year, it has grown a small but very positive fanbase, and as of recent, the game now has a DLC, which you can purchase for $2.29 Canadian. For the sake of keeping things short, I won't be talking about the DLC very much, as it would take much more than this video to cover. As I've already explained, the controls for Neon Beats are so simple, even a dog could probably play it. To move your musical cube across the screen, you simply use three customizable keys, A, D, and the spacebar. You can also use R to restart the level if things are getting tough, or you are trying to beat your best time quickly. But beyond the controls, beyond the backstory, I think what makes Neon Beats a gem is its visual simplicity and music. Easy to look at black and white colors and shapes makes what is going on a lot easier to look at and understand. The music is 100% original and creative, and it will definitely get you head banging along. Just try not to get distracted and lose life. In my opinion, what makes a game great is simplicity, and I know I've used that word a lot, but anyone who plays the game can easily agree. There are some spots, however, where the simplicity actually causes the game to have a few flaws. After downloading and installing Neon Beats, you have access to a tutorial and three levels. I've played through these levels multiple times, attempting to not die once on each one, and I can say that it's no easy feat. After a while though, with very few levels, the game can actually get kind of tiring, and I find I only play it for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Some might say this is a good thing, but I personally feel the game should have a little more content for people to enjoy. The DLC is a great way to fulfill this wish, but that costs money, so people who don't want to fork over the 229 are stuck with not much to play. I recently just completed all of the available free achievements for the game, so I may not be one of those people for long. Neon Beats is a great game to play if you're willing to try something new, or you are looking for something easy to enjoy. Although not required, the DLC is a great way to expand your experience and a nice way to enjoy the game even more. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 9. Woo! The story behind the game is cool, the gameplay is fun and simple, and it's definitely a good random game to review. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!